Hi, welcome to CB Off-Road Adventures. Today we're traveling with our friends from Rome to the Unknown and we're gonna do Schnebly Hill Trail. And we're excited to do this because it starts in beautiful pines and ends up in gorgeous Sedona with like awesome red rocks, beautiful cliff views. It's amazing trail. And the beauty of it is that like anyone can do it. If you're new to off-roading, it's for you. If you're a veteran, you'll also love it. <laughs> so come along with us as we do um, Schnebly Hill Trail. Time to hit the road and drive into a brand new adventure. We've been looking forward to this moment and now it's time to see where the trail leads. Whether it's the open road or rough terrain, there's something about setting off on a new journey that gets us energized. Let's get rowing and see what kind of excitement this adventure has in store for us. The Hill Trail is an 11 mile journey that winds through the stunning Red Rock country, offering an unforgettable off-road experience. This incredible trail begins in the beautiful lush pines just off Interstate 17, about 25 miles south of Flagstaff. This first stretch of trail is relatively easy dirt road, suitable for almost any vehicle, making it accessible even for beginners. Along this section, you'll find numerous dispersed camping spots, perfect for a quick outdoor getaway. However, keep in mind that this area is highly traveled and can be busy with side-by-sides, so if you're seeking solitude, this might not be the ideal spot. Schnebly Hill is closed during the winter months due to the snow, but during the summer months, it offers a refreshing escape from the Phoenix heat, with temperatures often 20 degrees cooler. Why stay in the city when you can be immersed in the beautiful outdoors adventuring in places like this? All right, guys, this is our first viewpoint of the trip. And this is Shinebly Hill Vista. And as you can tell, it is gorgeous. So this is not too far off the main highway. Um, to get here, it's pretty easy. You could almost pretty much take a car to get to this section. But after this section, it gets way more rockier. Um, so I wouldn't suggest anything more than at least a higher clearance SUV. So with that being said, check out these views. As we leave Shinebly Hill Vista, we start our way down in elevation towards the quaint little town of Sedona. Why. 
The second part of Shenebly Hill Trail is much rockier than the first. The path goes from a maintained dirt road to a road more suitable for an off-road enthusiast. Big sharp Arizona rocks litter the trail, which makes an off-road vehicle with a good set of tires required for this section. Driving this amazing trail, it makes you wonder why this road is even here. Was it made for the off-road community? Actually, Schnebel Hill Road dates back to 1901, when this was the primary route connecting Sedona to Flagstaff. Named after Carl Schnebley, one of Sedona's early settlers, this trail was originally a wagon road. Now it's just a popular destination for off-road enthusiasts looking for a taste of Arizona's rugged beauty. We were amazed on how this route started in the beautiful pines and now has us on the side of a red rock mountain where desert shrubs and plant life are now prevalent. All right, we are pulling up to our second viewpoint. It is gorgeous. It's a short, short hike up to the top. And uh, let's just go check it out. The hike up to this viewpoint is relatively short and easy, making it a stop you don't want to miss. While some of these views can be admired from the road, there's something special about making the climb, sitting on a rock surrounded by nature and fully soaking in the beauty of this landscape. This is what makes Shenevely Hill Road so special. The views from up here are absolutely stunning. From this viewpoint, you can see the full scope of Sedona's unique landscape with its towering red rock formations and lush valleys. It's a view we won't forget anytime soon. It is moments like these that make all the bumps and challenges of the trail so worth it. On dirt, we're making our final descent down to civilization. This trail has dropped over 2,000 feet in elevation and has had us in awe from start to finish. This third section of the trail is rocky, uneven, and filled with loose dirt, so prepare yourself for a bumpy ride. It is more traveled than the first two sections due to people coming up from Sedona, but thankfully this part of the trail is pretty wide, so it makes the increased traffic not a big deal. As we take in this stunning landscape, it is easy to see why this trail is a favorite among off-road enthusiasts. The layers of rocks here tell a story of a time when this area was submerged underwater. The rock formed millions of years ago when layers of sand and silt were moved, deposited, and compressed over time. The water level lowered, creating this massive sandstone formations we see today that Sedona is known for. This area is a geological wonder and just an amazing place to experience.
We're now approaching the final chapter of today's adventure, cruising down the trail with Rome to the Unknown. As we look back on the incredible day we've had, we can't help but feel grateful for the memories made and moments shared. We want to give a huge thanks to Kenny and Mandy for joining us on this epic journey, and thanks to you for sticking with us until the end of the video. If you enjoyed today's adventure, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to follow along on more exciting off-road adventures, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This is CB Off-Road Adventures, and we hope to see you out on the trail.